great, uh, great to be here this evening, and we're thrilled to have our mayor with us, Mayor Greg Stanton. Mayor Stanton, come on up stage with me, please. This is, um, uh, you know, thank you, uh, Crystal, uh, for all the work that you've done. Thanks for recognizing those who have come before us, Cindy and Christina. Great to see you guys here this evening. Uh, but we are really taking things to the next level. Uh, being here on Central, closing off Central, can we big, uh, give a big round of applause for our police officers who are here this evening, closed down the street, and done all this for us. But one of the reasons that we're able to move to the next level uh, with this year's event is because of the support of my colleague, our mayor, Greg Stanton, and everything that he's done, and working with the Phoenix Industrial Development Authority. And through the mayor's leadership and through the partnership of the Industrial Development Authority, we got a little check presentation this evening. Absolutely. The IDA has given $10,000 to support this event, the Art Walk, this evening. So, and we have Juan Salgado with us. And do we have a check? All right, absolutely. Let's have everybody come on up for the presentation. Uh, I wanted to talk just a little bit about the uh, Hatcher Road uh, Streetscape Project, but before I do that, I wanted to make sure to recognize my daughters who are here this evening, Emily and Corinne, and my wife, Pam, who is around here somewhere as well. Who's right back there? <laughs> Thank you, honey. For those of you who have been here in Sunny Slope for a while, you know this has been a project we've been working on for years. A lot of people got behind this effort to revitalize Hatcher Road, just north of us here, and a couple details on it, but it's really a beautification and a pedestrian improvement uh, effort. It's part of the whole Complete Streets efforts, where we make our streets not only a place where you can drive your car, but also where you can walk and ride bicycles. Uh, they've changed out all the lights to LED lights, so it's better for the environment and it saves money. It also has 20, we've also installed 28 trees to improve the shade along that area, and there is really some beautiful artwork that, uh, that you'll see along the street if you haven't been there already. 